My name's Justin. I'm the vocalist for Risk Me Razor. I'm Elaine. I play bass. We are on the 20 year anniversary vanity tour for uh, 18 Visions uh, seminal record from 2002. Uh, we're super, super excited to be a part of this. It's a huge, gigantic deal. Pretty much unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So this has been a very, very cool and surreal moment for us. And we're going to show the van that we're traveling in today. So come with us. So the way that we usually work is that um, me and our other guitar player usually uh, shift when it comes to driving. Uh, we, we typically try to do it to where um, neither of us is getting too worn out. But the, the front up here is basically where we keep all of our energy drinks and other weird assortments. We like to make sure everyone knows how fucking weird we are. And we've had Halloween candy up here since uh, <laughs> Since last Halloween, actually, That's we've had year. we've had all of this up here since last Halloween, and we uh, give it out to lucky passerbys sometimes. We've actually given candy out to people on the street a couple times now, um, and we've had people walk up to us and ask. Last tour that we did, we were in uh, Florida, and me and our guitar player Nate were sitting in the front, and someone stopped us, and they were like, "Roll down your window," and they were like. Did you uh, did you have candy that you give out up there? And we were like, sure. We just handed it to him. So typically, the passenger seat is either me or Tyler, our other guitar player. Whoever's not driving is sitting there. So, because both of us are pretty good at staying up, so being um, the the co-pilot on a uh, thing like that usually works best. Um, so we usually stay up here most of the time, and then the rest of the band is in the back. So for entertainment, we've found kind of that um, we'll burn through a lot of music and then once we've burned through about every song that we could physically listen to without being sick, we uh, move on to different podcasts and stuff. Tyler's usually the podcast guy. I'm a little bit less of a podcast guy when it comes to finding them, but um, we've done a bunch of cool ones. Like we've, we've burned through um, a lot of the Sword and Scale ones. Um, we burned through a couple other ones like that we'll play like as long as we can possibly take it. But usually the podcasts come at the point in the tour when the music is just so burnt out. And, and luckily we're not there yet because this is the first day of this tour, but um, we do get there eventually. We always get there. This is my bench. I tend to keep all of my shit as close to me as I possibly can um, just because I like being cozy. So I have. My massive suitcase that I fly with is tucked in here. Um, I keep my pedal board and my head underneath my bench, which they're not in here now, but there's enough space for them. I'm just worried about them getting jostled in the trailer because they're so small. Um, this is my guy. He holds my headphones, but it's a ghast from Minecraft. I bought him at a Target in Indiana, I think. But he fits well inside my base case, which makes him really easy to fly with because I don't have to like turn him into this thing. Um, one massive pillow because I don't want to have multiple, so I'd rather just have one big one. Uh, some jackets, some trash, as always, stashed in here, um, and a pack of pickled green beans that I bought at a gas station. Uh, I'm Brian. I play drums. Let's see, oh, we got some, got a hat, got a half drank rain, um, some clothes, Sharpies from, uh, you know, doing merch, uh, I've got my spaceship pillow, and a coffee that's been sitting in here for a couple days. That's pretty much it. Do a lot of, uh, a lot of sleeping. So this is uh, the free bench now. Um, at various points, we've kind of used this bench to sleep in and for whoever just wants to have another one. Funny enough, uh, last tour was Nate's first tour in the band, so this bench was actually utilized to learn all of our songs, pretty much. Yeah. We did a lot of, we did a lot of actual uh, practice in these two benches. Learned the whole set in these two benches. Yeah. Now on this tour, since it's only the first night, um, found out that that bench is actually bigger than this one, like wider. So lying down flat on that bench is a lot cozier because I have massive shoulders because um, I work out. Um, so yeah, basically all last night 
on that 12 hour drive, I would just lie on this bench and then when I would get bored, I'd come back to this one and I flip flopped three times. These, uh, these were beverages that I previously enjoyed. Uh, zero calorie Gatorade, because why would you waste your calories? Um, same thing with the body armor, but yeah. Wide mouth, um, you know. Um, for, I drink a lot of water. I'm straight edge. Um, and I don't want to be like, Tyler, can we pull over like every 30 minutes? So I'm taking care of those a lot. And, uh, you know, a couple more days into the tour, there'll be a treasure trove of them filled back here that I'll deposit yeah. at different times. There's two things you can always expect in the Risk Meat Razor van, and it's Halloween candy to pass out and uh, a piss treasure to trove out. of piss. Yeah, we have a lot of piss and a lot of candy. That's basically what the band's all sometimes about. Sometimes mixed together. Mix, sometimes mixed together, yeah. Not much in here at this point, it's all inside. But we have a very broken um, yellow tote if, if you ever need, you know, shit with holes in it. Um, we have Nate's weights because, as he said, he does work out. It's much stronger than any of the rest of us. I've seen him pick this entra entire trailer up pretty much alone. More than once. Um, we bought this on the last tour because we went to Disney at the end of the tour and we wanted to stay on the campgrounds. So we needed a tent. But other than that, it's just stuff. First off, I like to put the calves in the back. Same thing with the heads that are in the cases. Um, when you're pulling a trailer, you want to make sure like everything's equally distributed with the weight so you don't fishtail everything. But this trailer is actually not our trailer. Um, using it for a friend, delivering it to him at the end of this tour. Um, this trailer is a lot bigger than the other trailers we've used. So we've only packed it for one night so far and it doesn't even take up half of it. So <laughs> it's kind of, we got we got here, or got we opened it up this morning or something and it, like everything in the front was kind of like shifted over, so we're gonna have to take account of that next time. But yeah, just normally put the the cabs and the heads in the front. Try to wedge the guitars in the sides so they don't move around too much. Um, kind of same thing with the pedal boards. Try to keep that first like block as compact as possible for the weight wise. Then try to put merch in kind of last, and then the stuff that like I've got. This is like a like a patio, like ottoman cushion that I sleep on. Try to keep anything that like you're gonna have to grab if you're staying somewhere or you're staying in the hotel. You can grab it as easily as possible at the end of the night. Because when you get to where you're going, the thing I hate most is everybody like groggily getting out of the van and just kind of like just standing there. I kind of want to get my stuff and go to where I'm gonna be permanently sleeping for the night as soon as possible. So try to keep that stuff, whether it be extra bags or stuff like that in the front so it's easy to get to. Thank you for checking out the Wrist Meat Razor tour, tour van, our, uh, our crib. Um, you can find any of our music on Spotify, uh, we have Facebook, we have Instagram at wrist.meat.razor, we have Twitter at Wrist Meat Razor. Um, we'll be uh, on the road all summer and then we'll be playing uh, the Furnace Fest 2022 in uh, the Sloss Furnaces of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, and then after that, we'll be writing more music for y'all.